Hi y'all, I'm Amber, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 5 buzzwords. I never really knew what buzzwords meant literally, and so I'm not exactly sure if the words that I chose are exactly correctly put, but either way, these are the things that I always, that I will look for in books, I guess. Also, there will be no order to this, it's just really random. The first one that I could ever think of, you know, and so on. The first buzzword that I always look for is time travel. Time Traveler's Wife by Ajay Nipponidger was the first book that I really read that I absolutely loved that dealt with time travel. And I also really liked the unique way of handling time travel. It's not this straightforward, you know, you create a time traveling machine and you use it to go back and forth in time. So I really liked that she went in a different way and it just really added to the story. This also made me want to read any other kind of books that had time travel in it. It's just a little bit harder to find books out there that have time travel in. Other than this, there's the Outlander series. These are like the two obvious ones that I know of, but there just doesn't seem to be a lot out there, at least not where I can easily find them. So I always look for time travel in books but it's not something that I find easily. The second buzzword is more of a genre title, but I absolutely love this genre and I will read anything in it now, and that is fantasy. The book that definitely brought me into fantasy is A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Everybody that on BookTube kept saying that this is not the book to start out if you haven't read fantasy before, and I took that as a challenge. I automatically was like, I'm going to go and pick this book up and read it. I don't really care what they have to say. And I was kind of surprised at how easy it was because everybody kept saying how this is not the book to introduce yourself into fantasy, but it was the perfect introduction for me because I absolutely fell in love with the series and with fantasy itself through Game of Thrones. And so I'll pick up almost anything that's fantasy. The third buzzword is character driven books. I'm not even sure if this works for buzzword, but I'm using it. This is not one of my favorite ones to choose from, but it is one that I definitely will look for in a book. It's just I think that with this one it's much more harder for authors to succeed in, but the one book that made me even more interested in books that were character driven was The Casual Fantasy by J.K. Rowling. She did such an amazing job with this book. Reading this made me realize how much of an amazing author she is. The Harry Potter books, although, were really good. I don't think they were top-notch, but this was her best work, for me at least. This book introduced me to the idea of books that are character-driven and seeing that it can actually be successful. The fourth buzzword is anything that surrounds World War II. I enjoy learning more about different aspects of that war because there's so much more than just the Holocaust, but the Holocaust is the main thing that um, has always been the most important aspect to the war for me, at least just because that's the one thing that I've learned the most about. And the book that I always talk about, which is kind of a obvious choice, is Anne of Frank's Diary, and this is the definitive edition, which I haven't read yet, but I thought that um, hearing her story through her diary entries was very interesting. It's not a book that I would read, and it's not like a masterpiece, but it's a very important part of that history, and it is that kind of gives you a different perspective, something to learn more about our history and to remind us that this is the worst, this is one of the worst moments in history and we do not want to repeat ourselves. And I just like, not like, but like, I always want to learn more and any books, fiction, nonfiction, I will pick up just to see how the authors handle it. Also, The Book Thief was an amazing one that I absolutely fell in love with. It was a very unique way of telling the story. Definitely anything that surrounds the World War II I will pick up. The fifth and last buzzword is classics. I will pick up, I will read a lot of classics. I don't, the majority of my books aren't classics, but I definitely will pick up 
classics, whether buying or borrowing. Mainly borrowing because classics are one of the harder types of books for me to read. But I definitely got into classics through Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I actually watched the film and I absolutely fell in love with it, so I decided that I would pick up the book. And watching the film actually helped me to get through the book. And I really did enjoy the book because of watching the film first. So this definitely opened the doors for me to really delve into classics. Before reading Pride and Prejudice, I really wasn't reading classics at all, but I had been wanting to. And reading Pride and Prejudice actually made me realize that it's not really as hard as I had worked it up in my mind that it was. So it definitely helped me change my perspective. So those were my top five buzzwords. It was really hard for me to choose these because I don't tend not to focus on certain kinds of books like I do, like with fantasy, that's not genre, like I mainly focus on the genres, not the types of things that describe them, I guess. Like, it's just one of those things where I've never really paid attention, it's just, if the synopsis sounds interesting, I'll pick it up, that kind of thing. So, it was kind of hard for me to figure these ones out, but there you are. Tell me down below what are some of your favorite buzzwords and what, got, and what book got you into those kinds of books. Thank you all so much for watching and keep smiling.